Oh my goodness. <laughs> Man, these readings have been coming up a little bit. Woo! Sagittarius, how are you? All right, Sagittarius, you're coming in hot and then hot and bothered, it looks like. So you have... <clears throat> wow. Okay. Got the lover's card. I like to cover this because it's a little bit provocative. There's no nudity in this card. There's nothing distasteful, however. It's a current atmosphere of a lot of atmosphere. Atmosphere. Atmosphere of a lot of social media. I'm covering the card. It's a Gemini card. Uh, card of the lovers. Now, you also have what popped out with it was the Eight of Swords. So you could be thinking about either you are dealing with someone in a particular situation. It could be Gemini, maybe not a Gemini. You know, not everyone that is your lover or twin flame is a Gemini, but anyway, it is what it is. <laughs> However, you could be dealing with somebody who maybe has two sides to them, okay? They always have two different stories or something like that. Now, this could be someone that you're dealing with, whether you care about this person or not, or maybe you, um, it's very possible that you got into a relationship with somebody who could be cheating or you could have gotten into a relationship with somebody and wondering if you're going to get caught cheating. Okay? That's what you have, Sagittarius. Now, somebody may know a secret about you and that could have you a little bit wrapped up in your mind. Or, or maybe you were dealing with somebody. For some, very few of you, there could be somebody that's kind of coming back around and you're thinking about somebody from the past and you're just kind of like, you can't stop thinking about them. That's very possible too. All right. Let's see, which is it? Let's clarify this before we move on. What is it? Mm. Two of Wands. Going two different ways, huh? You probably left somebody. Three of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Sag, what's going on? You may have made a decision to kind of go a separate way, separate way with somebody, and maybe it hurt. It's very, very possible. You know, looks like you were involved with somebody, and then something happened, and then you just kind of like split. You said goodbye to them. Okay. I can't help but get the sense that there could have been somebody else. You were dealing with somebody. And somebody else kind of came in the picture. I can't help but get that. I can't help but get that. Yeah. Three of swords. You got the lovers here. Two of wands. Two different ways. Two different directions. Maybe you both went in different directions. But I'm, I'm kind of getting something about somebody going two different ways. Okay. All right. Let's challenge. Eight of pentacles. Hmm. Two of Cups. It's weird. It's not weird. Excuse me. <laughs> it's like you don't know which way to go. You want a little bit of everything. It's like you want true love. You want a connection. But you want this, 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 and that. You got to figure out what it is that you want. That's what's challenging you. You probably have gone through this situation you know, with a different person. And, you know, either you could, it's like, it's very possible that you kind of like, you get distracted. Or you, oh, you get distracted. That's what I'm getting. You could revert back to old patterns or something like that. Sometimes that, you know, you could get, you know, Think about what somebody else did to you in the past and then you kind of blame it on the next person. You could even be doing something like that. All right. I am getting a sense that you probably, you could very well have a wandering eye. You come in hot with certain things and then you kind of like get cold feet about a relationship and then you kind of go a different direction. You break your own heart. You probably break other people's hearts too. You probably do something that's very, very painful to other people without even realizing it. Probably trying to protect yourself. Meanwhile, you're destroying everyone, including yourself. Okay. What you really do want is a connection. 
But you want this, this, and that, and this, and that. Oh, man. Right. <laughs> Here's the thing. Mm. What's coming in? What's important for you to know? What's coming in is... You got justice. And you got the Queen of Wands in reverse. I'm getting a sense of somebody who just doesn't care anymore. They're just kind of loose. Hold on. Before I go that route, because something feels six of wands. You have all kinds of stuff going on here. You definitely could be dealing with an air energy. I also did see, I think I saw a Queen of Cups. I did see a Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, but then I kind of like glided over it. And here you got the Queen of Swords and you have the King of Swords. Then you have the Six of Wands. And we do have this Queen of Wands in the, in the reverse. You could be dealing with... Let's say you didn't want to be with somebody. And, you know, you discarded them. And then a friend is like, Hey, I kind of like that person. <clears throat> or an acquaintance. And they meet up with that person, hook up with that person. And you're like, no, no, you can't have them. But you didn't want them. See what I mean? It's, it creates a problem. And that could be justice. Um, for not treating something properly. Or it could be you. <clears throat> could be you. You know? Maybe you weren't quite a match with somebody or, and you know, or maybe your friend wasn't quite a match with somebody. And then you, you kind of go off and you meet somebody, you know, who, who used to be with that friend or, uh, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> That's what I got. All right. Now there could be two people who are trying to do something. <clears throat> I do have a sense of that. What is that? I never noticed that before. Hang on. isolating yourself you could be isolating yourself or somebody is somebody could be definitely isolating themselves you may be seeing somebody in a very negatively or very attractive or somebody that's using their attractiveness in order to gain attention all right so let's try to summarize this Something happened, either you were cheating or somebody was cheating on another person. You know, somebody may have gone their separate way. Either somebody let certain things kind of get in their head and somebody's heart got broken. Somebody said goodbye to another person. These people are separated. It's, 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 it's interesting because I'm looking at this. So you have these two candles that are burning for each other. You have this moon in the middle. And the moon is represented by... You decide. You say goodbye. You know, they're burning for each other. There definitely could have been some sort of a betrayal involved with this. 
Okay, if you look at the Three of Swords for Tarot of Haunted House, it's pretty graphic see, so I can't really show the card. Um, there's no nudity in it or anything like that. It's just, you know, I just don't really feel comfortable kind of like showing it up to the screen. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, it's very possible that you felt bound to somebody and you didn't really want to be bound to them. You truly want a connection. Anyway, you know exactly what this is, I'm sure. But, I, something feel, what happened between you two? Let me just get a little bit more. I can't help but get a sense of, of a cheating scenario. I can't help but feel like somebody felt, so let's, let's look at it this way. Somebody may have felt inferior or maybe felt that somebody else was too good for them better than I mean it really could have had something to do with appearance or maybe they weren't able to take care of certain things maybe they weren't able to take care of themselves and then somebody else and then somebody else and then somebody else however I feel like if it was some sort of a cheating scenario or somebody kind of like stepping out or not sure exactly what it is that they want they want this they want that they want that and it could be because, you know, maybe they don't feel a certain way about themselves. So in order to make themselves feel better, to validate themselves, maybe they kind of like have a wandering eye and they look at different people or different things. Okay. Maybe because their youth, you know, is kind of slipping away. Or maybe their looks are slipping away or something like that. So if they get attention somewhere, they have to get it. You know, they get whatever it is that they can while they can. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last though, <laughs> you know, once you get to a certain age, you know, how do you, how do you navigate that? <laughs> anyway, yeah. And that feel like that could be part of it. Somebody probably does things negatively in order to kind of get attention. And it's because of some sort of an insecurity. How is this couple that's coming in? Hold on, baby. You can be wishing for somebody. Wishing that somebody comes back. Hoping somebody comes back. Could be that. That could definitely be what that is. Why am I hearing when you wish upon a star it makes no difference who you are? Anything your heart desires will come to you. <laughs> what? what is that even from? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to leave it there. Let's say you really had a good connection with somebody and something happened and you kind of like got your attention ripped away from you or torn away from you. Let's say it's what it is. Then the person that you kind of neglected, maybe you're wishing that that person comes back. Because I do see that with this Wheel of Fortune. It's kind of like things could be kind of taking another spin back around. It's so somebody is definitely is like completely wishing for something. Okay. It's a star card, which is a card of Aquarius. Okay. All right. We also have the Empress here. We have, um, you know, we have Gemini and we also have uh, Libra Taurus. And here you have the, um, you got Taurus, you got the fixed signs. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and uh, Leo. So, anyway, I don't know. That Aries interesting, that Aries interesting. That Aries reading was very interesting. So you might want to check it out. Also check out the, uh, Check out the Leo reading. I don't know. See where those um, are aspected in your chart. Might make a little bit of sense. Anyway, that uh, that Aries reading was pretty uh, interesting. Anyway, all right. So hit the uh, the thumbs up, please, if you like the video. If you like my content, uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos. Um, drop me a comment. Let me know if this is your story. If this makes any sense to you whatsoever. All right.
And uh, again, we're gonna put everything into a bag and you take out whatever's yours, because not all of this could be yours, okay? There could be only certain things that, that belong to you, okay? So take whatever it resonates for you. All right, Sagittarius, that's it. I'm gonna leave it there, so I'll see you on the next one.